So the equal sign, you've seen it before, this equals that, no big deal. Well, not so fast, mathematician pulled a fast one on us, started abstracting it, classic mathematician move, absolute mogul maneuver, but wait for it, if you know autodidact, we first have to do an intro sequence, so go ahead and roll that, baby. So I was reading a book called Men of Mathematics by Eric Temple Bell. I came across something he said about theory of equations and I had no idea what that was. And a little fear came up because I was like, I don't know what this is, man. And it always happens a little bit when that happens when I read something I don't know. It's a little spike of fear, but I'm getting used to it. It's just, you got to deal with a lot of uncertainty. So the not knowing what I don't know, it's, it's a bit hard to get used to. Anyway, but he said theory of equations. And it turns out that what I thought theory of equations was has nothing to do with it, what it actually is. Um, what it actually is is like the theory of polynomial equations, as far as I can tell, which apparently Galois figured out in 1830, so it's not really investigated anymore. It's kind of encompassed within modern abstract algebra. However, uh, I saw that theory of equations and I was like, Hmm, I got this little spike of fear, which happens sometimes, just had to deal with it, ate the fear, and then I was like, okay, theory of equations. Uh, this is autodidact, we're self-teaching. I gotta be able to navigate these things. How do I figure it out? What's going on? So I was like, all right, what? Th it says theory of equations. And I was like, okay, all right, all right. Theory of equations, what does that mean? Theory of equations. So uh, equation, it means to equate two things. Equation, equate, right? So I was like, okay, theory of equations. And then I was like, all right, that video I want to analyze, I'm gonna analyze it, chunk it apart. What does equal sign mean? So then I was like, all right, I'm gonna come up with an autodidact theory of equations. Just for shits and giggles. I spent a little time, wrote it out, this is what I did. So I went over all the instances I'd seen the equal sign. I kind of came up with a theory of the equal sign. I'm just gonna go over what I've learned thus far about the old classic equal sign, the two lines, you know it, shows up all the time. So when you first see an equal sign back in grade school, it's uh, you know, it's x equals two or something. It's a single value, x equals four, blah equals blah, but it's just a bump, boom, it's one thing. So maybe the first time you went into algebra, you're dealing with simple equations like x plus two equals four, and so then you know x equals two. There isn't a bunch of flowy stuff going on, it's just mm, mm, this is that. It's not really that flowy and weird, it's no fluff. But, but, right, this x, yeah, that's gonna be two. It's no big deal. And then the equal sign kind of changes a little bit. The relationship develops, it gets more nuanced, much like a normal relationship. So then you start getting into y. Now y enters the chat. Y is like, all right, y equals x. And that's, that gets a little hairy. That gets a little hairy for sure. Cause now you have, instead of just x equals two, you have like y equals x plus four, something like that. And so now it's not just this equals that, it's this equals some flowy thing. So it's not y is two, y is x. So you have two variables and what turns out you can happen is you can just basically change x whatever you want, and y is gonna equal that. So it's no longer this static thing, it becomes motiony, it becomes flowy. It's the equal sign here, it's like right, if whatever y and whatever the relationship is, y and x they're related, but you know, it's not just this and this, it's not x equals two, it's y equals x plus two or something like that. And so it starts to become a little flowy. And that's, for me at least, that's like, feels like a different kind of equality sign. I know it means the same thing. This side is equal to this, but it has a bit different flavor. This side is equal to this, but it's not a stationary thing. It's a flowy equal sign now. And then the third step in that progression, so then you get into like a ton of different things. You can have like multi multi variables. you're gonna have like functions. Yeah, I won't go into that now, but that's basically functions. You start getting the equal sign that are nice and funky. And then the third step, which I'm not gonna go over here, I'm gonna go over in another video, is equivalence classes. Now that gets super hairy. That's the abstract way we define equivalence between objects. So if you have a red bike, a red toaster, and a red tractor, you can define equivalence to be stuff that's red. And so those three things would be equal according to that definition. But you can also define equivalence to be, uh, has the same number of wheels. So an object would be equal to another object if it had the same number of wheels. And a toaster, a bike, and a tractor None of those three things have an equal number of wheels. So none of those are gonna be equal, you know, in this thing. But it's basically you're looking at some aspect and you're saying of objects and you're saying they equal depending on the, whatever you define equality to be. And then equality, no matter how you define it on something, it needs to obey certain properties. There's certain things we discovered that we need equality. If we're gonna call something equal, we need it to obey certain abstract properties. But I won't get into that now. It gets a little hairy, gets very, it's a little bit more abstract. But effectively, equal sign, that's Tucker's autodidact, pragmatic, up till now, fake, but also real theory of equations for you. 
Um, and that is going to be it. So take it easy. I love you. Godspeed. And I'll see you in the next one, which quite possibly could be tomorrow, but also maybe the next day, depending on how much I want to edit recently. Might be day after tomorrow, perhaps. Hello. See you in the next one. All right. Peace. Every little swallow, every chickadee, every little bird in the tall oak tree, the wise old loud, the big black crow, flap of their wings, singing go bird, go rock and roll it. Rock and Robin, sweet, 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 sweet